Welcome back everyone and it's time to go balls deep! In today's video, I'm covering the latest chapter explaining where devils come from in Black Clover and I'm also going to explain another clue regarding who the anti-magic demon is and why is Asta so special having no mana? Where did the inspiration come for this concept? So please do stick around to the very end so that we are all on the same page as a community. It's showtime! Okay, so this week's chapter starts with Nacht being a freaking boss and telling the captains to quiet down. It takes balls to do something like that and Nacht, he's got him. The captains react as one might expect, as if an enemy has infiltrated the kingdom. But before they can do anything, they soon are surrounded by devils. This reveals to us that Nacht can't just control his own devil Gimmel... Gimmodello? Gimmodello? Let me rip it. When he trains Asta in the morning, he may teach him how to subdue his anti-magic demon or how to use his arm to its full potential. Asta will become the most broken character in the whole series in the next few days. I mean, Nacht literally says that at the end of the chapter. However, one does have to wonder how he's gonna learn all of this in such a short amount of time. Wait, wait, wait. what was I thinking? I guess he's a shonen protagonist! Of course! These other devils have masks on, animal masks to be exact, and this seems to be inspired from the Chinese zodiac of some sort. But maybe the masks are the key to Nos control over them. Next, we have Balls Deep Prediction Magic being confirmed, as Julius was aware of Nacht and him being a spy at the Spade Nation. However, he does state he was unaware that he had the power of a devil. This brings forth the idea I stated last week that Nacht could have received the devil from the Spade Nation after being this evil. Itachi like figure for them. A spy that had to fall into darkness for there to be light and a chance for humanity to live on. Maybe he did a lot of treacherous and evil acts just to receive this information and status so that he can be trusted and give this information back to humanity and the Clover Kingdom so that 90% of people do not die. Nacht says he does have a right to be at the meeting, which is true. Vice captains can attend if their captains aren't available, right? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> Yami is in air! Julius confirms Nacht is A-OK -okay to be there. However, his devil possession seems to be news to everyone. And this leads me to believe it's something that happened during the time of the Spade Nation. He practiced Weg magic, devil magic, and left with all the devils, it seems. Jack remembers him from his time with Yami in the Grey Dare Magic Knight Squad, meaning that he's been around for quite a while. And he's a lot older than the other bulls. That's why they've never seen him, as he's been a Spade Nation spy for a very, very long time. So he could have been up to anything over there blah 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 blah. you get the point Nacht commands the devils to be gone and they follow his orders as they disappear he says he rather not waste time and get straight to the point he explains what will happen if the gate to the underworld is opened in the spade kingdom and how the preparation of the tree of Clefort will begin Yami and William will be sacrificed in the process just as we predicted so say with me now although this will be a sad one balls deep prediction about you this is way too bad your mana sharing is great. Please continue by smashing that goddamn like button and notification bell to tune in on a weekly basis on the channel. Now, before we go even further, let's just process this for a second. My man Nox just said that the weakest demon in the tree of death is equal to the dark triad. Country level threat type people, bruh. <laughs> The two strongest characters in the series so far face the strongest member of the triad and they barely survive And you're telling me that these devils are way stronger than that? Nah fam, nah fam, this world is done, e everyone's gonna die <laughs> But apparently the strongest demon of all is Lucifer, he's the final devil, the strongest as he should be. What else would you expect, right? But, you know, that does bring on the idea, Lucifer being the strongest devil, it just proves how much more of a simp Dante is. Even with the strongest demon, the man died against Yami, not once, not twice, but six times! This dude is a simp for Lucifer, bro. Lucifer, bro. Lucifer, bro. Lucifer, bro. Lucifer, bro. 
Guys, I know, I know, you're wondering where the hell is the Dante merch, right? It is coming out next week. I hope in the meantime, you can support the channel like these guys right here. Shout out to all of you that have bought the merch so far. The Aster merch is absolutely lit. It's 10% off. The link will be in the pinned comment. Now, if you have been following our channel, you would know that we have an anti-magic demon series and countless theories about where the story of Black Clover is going. Balls deep, prediction magic hasn't failed thus far and that's why it's so important to hit the notification button on the channel and subscribe because that way we are all on the same page. Essentially, within our community, another clue has been potentially found on the foreshadowing of who Aster's demon is. Shout out to Thanatos the Shadow from Reddit for contributing. Is that how you pronounce the name? No! But please guys, follow us on Reddit, Twitter or Instagram if you want to end up in the video just like these guys. As a community, we all believe that the possibility that Anti-Magic Demon's name is Roth is quite likely, right? Aster and Roth completes the notion of Aster Roth being the inspiration of the concept. Aster Roth in demonology is the great Duke of Hell in the first hierarchy with Lucifer and Beelzebub. He is part of the evil trinity. Aster Roth also features as a demon associated with the Cleefort tree according to the Kabbalah. Aster could be the key to the lock of Roth, the Anti-Magic demon or Aster is Aster Roth himself completing his transformation into a devil as the anti-magic demon is slowly taking over his body after making a deal. If the anti-magic demon is Aster Roth that means he is one of the dukes of hell which means he is not a low ranking demon as stated by Lucifer. So either Lucifer is hiding something due to the past history of wanting to retain power within the hierarchy that has been established in the world that we know is a fact or the anti-magic demon was betrayed by his own race and mis treated as a result of prejudice just like Aster was in his life. This could possibly be the reason Aster's demon has already confirmed to us that he wants revenge on Lucifer and wants to kill all the other demons for what they did. For example, Noth just confirmed in the chapter that Aster and his demon can become the strongest and they are the key which will foil the plan of Lucifer that wants to be released. If Lucifer also had this notion of understanding the anti-magic demon's potential, he would have made sure to to cast him out to retain power or lie about his magic being poultry when Dante asks as he did earlier. Lucifer being a liar and potentially betraying the anti-magic demon is not far-fetched at all. This chapter just confirmed that there are nine layers and levels of hell and Lucifer is in the final level if you count them, right? This confirms my analysis on where Tabata was inspired from this entire arc. If you want to learn the deeper meaning behind everything that is happening regarding the Dark Triad, I highly recommend that you watch the video being displayed to you right now. It will be in the pinned comment. But essentially, the arc is partly inspired from Dante is Inferno. The ninth level of Inferno is known as treachery. This means when someone lies or betrays someone. In chapter 246, it's pretty obvious that Anti-Magic Demon could be one of those people. Now a clue that Aster's demon is Aster Roth is from the latest ending released in the anime. In the ending, we see a lot of foreshadowing of Yami's demise and Aster gaining his sword which has been confirmed already. When we look at Aster seeing himself as the devil, the images of the devil's seals are then shown right after. The seal which is shown compared to the real depiction of Astaroth is pretty much the same. These seals and designs featured in the Black Clover ending are inspired from the Lesser Key of Solomon. In real life, the Lesser Key of Solomon is an anonymous grimoire on demonology. Furthermore, the Black Clover universe has already confirmed that this arc is based on the Kabbalah and the Tree of Death known as the Cleefort Tree. Astaroth's meaning within the whole story is actually much deeper. This is because in the Lesser Key of Solomon's books, he is one of the main princes of hell and a powerful duke commanding 40 legions of spirits, just as we saw Nacht command other spirits in this chapter. In the book, he is described as a hurtful angel riding on an infernal beast like a dragon and carrying in his right hand a viper. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, wait a second, is the anti-magic demon a fallen angel? Well, I have already covered this possibility in a full-fledged video explaining how devils are actually born in the Black Clover universe. Anyway, Astaroth is actually featured on the Cleefort tree if you didn't know. The third realm on the solar panel is called Smiter or Devourers. And let's not act like Aster and his demon have not been called Devourers of Despair already. This has been said about Aster multiple times within the manga. In this realm, the initiate becomes the Smiter and has to destroy or devour what one has created, thus destroying the very substance of creation that lies at the foundation of the universe. This 
realm is run by Astaroth, the foul angel of the Clefot. His toxic breath poisons the structures of the world and dissolves them in the final annihilation of humanity, as the initiate has to leave one's whole life behind before entering the abyss. I think this is literally where Tabata got inspired to create Asta's character of anti-magic from, because if you describe it in this manner where it destroys anything that anyone else creates within the world, this is what Asta is doing within Black Clover. The Witch Queen said herself that all magic in front of Asta's anti-magic is useless. So I am really looking forward to what Tabata reveals in the future because this demon shit is really interesting when I research it. And everything that we have said so far based on the inspiration has aligned pretty well as we predicted. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying, Bosley prediction magic is pretty powerful. Anyway, if Lucifer is released, the world is over. That's it. That's the end game. But there is hope because Yami and William will only die when the final door is fully open. Meaning that even if they stop the process at the very last second, that will be enough to save them as well as the rest of the world. Rill then asks, why is the triad doing something so dangerous, deadly and sinful in the first place? What motivates them to do this? Now, that's something we've all pondered for the longest time as well, we have to admit. And Noct gives an answer that although it may not explain their reasoning, it does make sense. He says that we don't need to understand people like them. They're the same as any other scumbag hurting others for their own desires and own self gain. He says that he wouldn't want to understand what the minds of the evil think. And honestly, that is a good answer, but that just means the triad as it stands now, they are just doing evil stuff for the sake of being evil because they can and because they want to. There's no deeper reasoning and that really drags them down as villains separating them from a race like the elf art who acted out of revenge and, ang and actually had an ideology that you can back. So here's to hoping Tabata can think of a reason why the Dark Triad are so evil and believe in this ideology so passionately before they goddamn die. I mean, we don't want them to end up like Zagrid now, do we? <laughs> Noct then says he will make Asta the strongest and through his anti-magic this is possible. Now tell me, I'm not the only one who looked at Yuno's face and could see how pissed that made him. All this time, Asta and Yuno have been competing for the position of Wizard King. And now, to hear your rival who doesn't even have magic is gonna receive special training to become the strongest? That must have killed him inside, bruh! I am having a very bad day! It's one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. Noct proclaims that the gate will start to open in three days, and before that, they'll retrieve Yami and Vengeance and destroy the Clefot tree. But to do this, they'll make an elite unit with Asta at the center to attack the Spade Kingdom. Maybe this is a foreshadowing of Asta finally receiving an anti-magic zone or something? Thank you for supporting our channel. Once again, thanks for buying the merch, and I'll see you guys next time.